Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Postman Beginners Tutorial. This is our lesson 7 on creation of different environments in Postman. So I'm going to teach you how can we create different environments and then how can we manage variables at environment level. So in my previous two sessions, lesson 5 and 6, I've already covered how can we create variables at collection level and then how can we create global variables. So it is recommended to go through those two videos before you watch this session. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to teach you what is environment, how to create environment and the variables at environment level and how to use environment variables and how can we delete the environment and the variables that are that we created at environment level. Okay, so now first of all, let's understand what is environment. Okay, let me show you a small example. So in generally, in the corporate world, we generally have a different environments. What do you mean by different environments? One is dev environment. You might have QA environment. You might have UAT environment. You might also have SIT environment and production environment. So let's remove our dev environment because we are not, not at all bothered about the environment. So if you see in QA environment, let's say my application URL will be different compared to QA environment, sorry, compared to your production environment. Let's say in QA, my QA URL is QA.example. This is my QA URL. And then my UAT application URL is UAT dot example dot test project. And then in SIT, my application URL will be SIT dot. And in production, this is my URL. So nothing is in front of example. Okay. So that means for each you for each environment, we will have a different URLs for the applications. I'm going to, I'm not going to test the same application in different environments. So developers is going to create different URLs for each environment. Okay. So now how can we manage all these URLs and within different environments? And also let's assume I have a username to login. So username for QA might be QA test and password 12345 and then username for UAT might be UAT test and the password is 12345 so and so on so the user details or the test data might not be same in all environments so you may need to use a different data sets in different environments so how can we manage all these environment variables including the different urls as we understood what is environment and why do we need different environments and then why do we need a different variable values for the environment right so now let's see practically how can we create environment and the variables by using postman okay so for that so in the earlier session we have created a collection three and then we added uh, the following uh, request messages within the collection three, right? So for this session, we are going to use a new request message, which is a post method. So if you see here, to register a new user, I would like to use a post method, okay? So for this post method, you will have a request body also, okay? This time we are going to have a request body for the rest request message. And what is the URL? This is your URL. Copy this URL. Okay, so before I proceed, I would like to create a new folder here within the collection three. I would look, I would like to create a new folder and name this as post request. All the post request messages, I'm going to collect them here. 
and then now add a request and here I would like to name this as register user okay and what is the method as I told you this is a post method correct this is a post method so here instead of get select post and then paste the URL that we have copied here okay and now go to your request body so this is my body and select raw and the format as JSON this is my JSON format right and copy the request body sample request body from here and paste it here and run this and see what happens as soon as I run it should create see for this register the user is successfully registered and ID is created at 9 and your unique token is this so it's successful save this now let me explain one thing see in the corporate world as I explained you earlier the URL in QA is different from the URL in production what if I want to test this particular request in QA environment separately and then after that I want to test this in the post production environment then I cannot use the same URL here and also test data like email and password will not be same in QA and production generally we manage different so now that means the values and the values of this email and password are changing within the different environments and your URL also changing so let's say here see in the QA environment my URL is this and my email ID is the same email ID that I have used and my password is pistol which is same password that I have used let's assume in production environment URL will not be same let's assume my URL is at the end I have a prod and also the email I have eve.prod instead of eve.halt and the password also pistol prod so now the values for these in basically the input is changing for different environments so that means I can manage these different values in different environments for that let me create environments in postman tool first okay let me create two environments which is QA environment and production environment for that for that there are two methods either you can create environments from the quick look by clicking on add or you can go to left side left side panel environments module and click create environment let me create environment here and name this as QA in environment okay and then let me create another environment this time let me use quick look add prod environment okay I have created two environments now let's go to QA environment add the variables what are all the different variables I have one is URL what is my URL is this so let's name this as URL this is my first environment variable and uh, what is my second variable which is email right email and what is the value my email is in the QA this is my email ID my initial value and and next one is password what is my password pistol is my password correct done so save this I've created a QA environment and I have provided all the variables and the corresponding values for the variables okay so now let's create another environment production environment okay okay so so let's now as we already defined QA variables with the different values now let's create a uh, variables for production right 
So instead of creating new variables here, I would like to do one thing. Delete this. I would like to use a duplicate function. QA environment. Let me duplicate this environment. Duplicate and rename this as rename this as prod environment. So which carries all the values whatever we entered earlier. So here the URL, I want to keep the URL as same but here my email and password changes right so here my email is prod instead of halt prod and here my password is i'm adding prod and save this so now i've created two environments with the same variables but the variable values are different right so now let's now let's assume this particular request I need to execute in QA environment. For that, I would like to replace because now it is hard coded values. But instead of hard coding, I would like to use the variables that we have created for the QA environment, right? So for that, here instead of URL, how to refer the variable with double curly braces as soon as I click on double curly sorry so let me just as soon as I enter double curly braces it should show me the variables okay now uh, one minute so it is fine so now if you see here as soon as I enter URL I can see the variable here uh, let me see let me do one thing I think it's not coming here let's go back to let me I have already saved this production environment QA environment perfect let me save this let me open this again okay open this here URL somehow it's not referring basically it's not coming okay understood why because First, I need to select the environment here. So if you see on top right corner, I have not selected any environment. We have created two environments. One is QA and one is production. So for that, you need to select the environment. Let me select QA environment here. Now, as soon as I enter two curly braces, it will give me all the environment variables that are defined in the QA. Select this and in the email body, instead of this hard coded value i would like to have i would like to call this email i would like to call this email variable so what is the variable here let me again go and see my variable is email and then here my variable is password done save this so now if you hover on this, it is already showing me the URL, correct URL. Now let me execute this and see how does it's going to register the user. When I execute this, it should successfully register the user. Okay. So if you see QA environment, let's go back here. I can see this is my QA environment and this is my, okay. Okay, so let's go back here. Now it should successfully execute. Okay, before this, I want to add one thing here. Content type as application-json. Here, this is the one I would like to validate, okay? Okay, so let's see email. I think again we made a mistake see this is anytime you enter the variable right you have to copy better to copy from here okay email let's copy the password also okay so now save this now you send it if you see here 
now it is successful let's assume i want to execute this with the production values the variable remains same but the values of this input changes so for that you have to change the environment to production now this time it will take the production values this e e prod pistol prod because we have changed the values which the user should not be registered successfully because these values are not actually predefined okay for this particular sample request let me send this now if you see here it's going to say only defined users succeed registration because this particular sample website they gave only this defined username email id and password to get registered okay if you provide some other values it's not going to register so that is correct so that means it is taking the new values from the production for the second time right so now hope you all understand how to create the environments and how can you manage the values different values for different environments and how to delete the environment you just need to either you can go here and then edit it and delete it or you can click on this more actions and directly click on delete and confirm the delete so that's going to delete your all entire environment and the corresponding variables also if you want to delete the specific variable you just hover on this variable the last row and then click on cross button so it's going to delete your entire variable okay hope you all understand the concept so if you have any queries provide the queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your query please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i i publish more videos thank you